important is that you can describe your current research and what is the kind of area in your field. Current research. Uh, so my current research right now is dealing with uh, how can we recommend uh, news and web content uh, to people. Uh, so what we see here is that people, you know, they, they browse the web, they use a, a browser, uh, but can we actually, you know, give better intelligent, more personalized type of content? Uh, because personalization is a space that actually is very, very um, difficult because in a sense of how do you know if this content is something that a user will like or not? Maybe sometimes this particular content is not for that user. So, so how do we make it such that we can make the personalization uh, more accurate to the user and make sure that the user really likes it and the user will want to return back to go use the, uh, the application or the service. And uh, cutting edge, so in the research that we're doing right now, the cutting edge I believe is that having to do with um, how to make personalization really, really more personal and also to kind of add this continue add this context part, so not just based on your user profile, but also based upon maybe your activity, you know, what you're doing, so you get recommendations based on your activity. Uh, so, so it's kind of like, you know, what I'm, what I'm doing right now, then I can get recommendations, you know, depending on what I'm doing right now. So. Yeah, so location is one aspect, yeah, right? I read about the instructions in that new book. Right. And uh, imagine that this may help, uh, help the uh, Google shopping websites. Right, use right. This technology. Is there any uh, really websites use the latest technologies? Uh, any particular websites that use these technologies? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, there are some, but I think that they're still very primitive. Still, you know, there's still, yeah, yeah. I think there still needs to be more, more work on this because, um, you know, for example, you know, Google has something where they're using Google now, right, to try to predict, you know, what you're doing. For example, if it knows that your schedule, you're about to go to a meeting, then it will tell you, you know, how to get to that meeting, so then that way it can help you. But we want to kind of maybe go more beyond that. So we want to give you some type of recommendations before you actually really need it. A lot of times, recommendations right now is that you have to give a push. You have to say, okay, you know what, I want this right now, give it to me. But what about, you know, we want to prepare this kind of content that, you know, before you actually need it, so then when you are about to get something, it can come to you right away. So it's trying to give you that um, different element of giving you content when you want it and, and, and what you want. Yeah. Right. So currently, the uh, the the work that we're doing right now, I mean, it's right now it's for a particular product that is um, um, right. So it's, it's, it's implemented in a product right now. So the recommendation algorithm right now is implemented uh, in a product um, that is you know in in Microsoft. Um, but I mean, the thing is that I mean, it's a service, right? So the service, of course, can be used by you know other phones as well too, as well. So I don't think it has to be you know just geared towards. Okay, you know, and I also have some questions about your personal experience. Okay. And uh, now working for the Microsoft, and right. have you ever worked for university as a professor? No, I haven't uh, quite yet. I've always still been in, in industry since I graduated, so I haven't gone into the academic world yet. Okay. Right. So I think it's a very good question, and I think uh, you know, with a company, uh, you get access to you know data. You get company data. So for in our case, you know, we get data from what users browse from the uh, the browser. So we have something called Express Browser, where people can you know browse the website, and we record that data. Right. So. If you're working for a university, you know, you have to collaborate with companies to get that type of data. So, and you also get, you know, a lot of resources because you can get people to help you, you can get, uh, you, can, you can see your research actually being implemented to a product. Because I think a lot of times for researchers, you know, they have new ideas, new algorithms, but they want to see it being used by real users, right? And who are those real users? Those users that use a particular product, and those products are built by companies, right? Um, but that being said, you know, I think with companies, you also, there's also restrictions too, because you have to follow according to what the company's rules are, the company's uh, policies, right? So you can't just do whatever you want to do, right? It has to be according to the company vision. Um, but if you're in the university, you know, you can kind of drive your own type of research. You're kind of more free um, to do things or so. Um, 
so I think you know there's pros and cons, cons to both you know uh, both the industry and also with the uh, university. So it's not important you would like to be a professor in university. I think it will become a point in my time that I think I would you know want to try to go to. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. I think uh, yeah, because I think that you know it's good to have um, the best of both worlds. You know, like it's good to have the industry experience, but also to to get the. Uh, to get the kind of the independence to also do your own type of research and to have you know students to help you to do that yeah, type yeah. of research and so yeah let's see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, and my last question is that uh, we can just uh, have an open discussion about this uh, con conference and right. the future AIC conference how we have. Right. Yeah. So I think as executive chair, I think you know I really enjoyed you know uh, organizing this this conference and getting people involved here. And I think this whole entire concept of you know ASC being uh, open access, being able to get everybody to be able to access you know the papers you know for free, uh, being be having a low level, low kind of um, uh, cost for this conference, is it's good because you want to. You don't want to put a barrier for researchers, right? The whole idea with research is that it should be open, right? It should not be closed. Yeah. So I think that's really, really good that ASC is doing this approach. And I think for the future of AC conferences, you know, I think that I would like to definitely kind of see it be more broader. So um, maybe instead of being more highly academic, we could have you know different type of tracks. So you can have you know an academic track, you can have an industry track. So you can invite more industry people, more people from business. Because the whole idea of ASC, right, is to promote for society, right? So we should not have any barriers to say that even if you, you know, are not a researcher, why is it you cannot also benefit from this, right? So I think that, you know, businesses also can, companies can also benefit from the research that we do. And I think the research that we do, we can also help to benefit companies because they also need solutions to their problems for demo and big data, right? So they need to rely on researchers in order to solve their problems. Okay, okay. Thank you very much.